Hello and welcome to my video lecture on the reconciled data layer. Right, so I, at this point, right, um, when we talk about the reconciled data layer, this is after uh, the ETL. Uh, so uh, considering uh, that operational data uh, is transient, right, we're going to be overriding stuff. Uh, so there's no reason to change uh, our operational system to try to handle, uh, you know, try to make uh, its data non-transient uh, because we're going to be doing snapshots. So we don't we don't care about history in our operational data. Um, operational data um, is typically not normalized. Right, we talked about that uh, in IT one seventeen. Uh, usually due to denormalization for performance. Um, it's restricted in, in scope, right? It's not comprehensive. We, we understand that our operational data is only one of the disparate data sources that we're going to be dealing with in the reconciled data layer. Uh, and we also know uh, that there is some poor quality in there. Uh, there are going to be inconsistencies. There are going to be errors that are either there uh, from historical data uh, that are due to you know um, you know people keeping their you know Excel spreadsheets outside of, of the database management system uh, outside of business rules things of that nature and then uh, we do this extract transform load process uh, when we're consolidating our data and after that we should have um, detailed information uh, and again, the, the ETL is, uh, the result of that is not our summarized uh, data warehouse information. This is really our load into our operational data store. And the reason for that is we, we need that, that one step uh, to get all the cleaning done, and that's the extract transform load. Uh, we summarize, the data is summarized out of our operational data store. Uh, because we only want to summarize from cleaned, detailed data. Uh, our uh, information on, in our uh, operational data store should be historical, right? Because we're going to be taking snapshots, so it's periodic. So that's that's why we don't care that our operational data is transient. Uh, this should be fully normalized, um, at least the third normal form or higher, uh, even though. Uh, in, uh, we're not going to be updating this. It still should be normalized. Uh, it could be. Co it should be comprehensive. So after the extract, transform, load process, data from all of our dis disparate data sources should be pulled together. So now we have comprehensive data. Uh, this should be timely uh, and current currency, current enough to assist in decision making, and it should be quality controlled. Right. So all of our uh, fixes and cleaning and updating and transformation uh, should happen during this process so that the end product is high quality data that is decisionable and actionable. Alright, so that is the end of my video lecture on the reconciled data layer.